Everybody, welcome to Trade Cups exclusive analysis. In today's video, we're discussing natural gas. Looking at the daily chart of natural gas, it's been an impressive move for nat gas really since it broke out of this consolidation range. When you had this beautiful impulse move breakout out of this basing formation, really on this April 23rd candle, then you got this huge intraday consolidation chop really holding above these high pivots. This was clear signal that nat gas was forming a bit of a base to make a stage and press higher. And that's certainly what it's done. So really since NatGas has put in a low here at $1.60, it's had a pretty substantial bounce off the lows, rallying 53.2% from the low to the high. That's an impressive move. Is natural gas done in the near term? Perhaps it needs a little bit of consolidation, but I still think this pattern has a little bit more upside to go in the tank. And I still think that this is shaping up for potentially the best outperformance in all commodities for the second half of 2022. I think NatGas is staging here for a massive potential break to the upside. So obviously daily chart, we can see we're into this little pivot low resistance. If you draw a trend line across, you're into this little high pivot breakdown zone. So this is the last area where we saw a substantial degree of volume right off of this high pivot volume breakdown zone on NatGas. So the fact that we actually got a daily impulse green candle through that zone, then a couple days of consolidation underneath. Once we get through this zone, that gas could be st starting to form a bit of a base off of this 237 area, 238. Once we get through that, then I have higher upside levels in the tank. But we really have to go to the weekly chart to look at this potential pattern and chart, chart formation that is unfolding. So first things first. What I like to do to try to establish, are we trading in any sort of a long-term range? Right now, this chart is obviously looking very, very crazy for any investor that looks at it. Massive multi-year bull runs with huge, huge collapses. Obviously, the nice thing about this asset is we're trading at the lower range of the asset class, meaning that it has a historical probability of trending higher off of this zone. As you can see, this is the lower range of the chart. Now, Let's try to identify any sort of a range in the chart. If we look at channels, I like to use channel analysis carefully. I want to use this major pivot low that we put in 2020 because that was really your, your COVID low. That's where the economy virtually came to a grinding halt. Do we see any sort of a higher low? Well, if you connect that pivot low here in 2024, you can actually see we do have a higher low off that area. Let's drag this trend line forward. And this is a perfectly symmetrical channel can clearly see if we drag that forward, you had a high pivot here in 2020, and you have this previous high pivot consolidation range in 2023 where you broke down. So naturally, when you hit a low of the range, often price action wants to retest the high of the range. That high of the range just so happens to sit roughly at about $3.50 if we want to make a nice clean technical number. So let's just use that as an upside target. As a risk to reward basis right now, if NatGas fell to the lows, you're looking at about a 31% fall. If it rallied to the highs, you're looking at about a 46. Some of you might not say that's not a perfect two to one. It's not really a good ratio to go, but certainly there is more upside that is favored in the near term, which is what I'm going with. And what I frankly see in the near term, I do think NatGas is a bit extended. Full disclosure, I did start a bit of a short trade with members. This is just a quick one entering off of a, a little bit of an extension move on NatGas. We're long at KOLD at the 58.38, and I won't let this trade go against me. I'll have a hard stop loss. But in the event that NatGas wants to fall in the near term, um, I'm just trying to capitalize on potentially a bit of an extended stock in nature, and I'm in the driver's seat right now with this position. So. I think that if NatGas can clear this pivot high, frankly, I'd want to see a nice bull flag develop. I don't want it to break through this high pivot too quickly because that's when price action becomes a little bit unsustainable. When you look at things, if you look at, you know, a Fib retrace zone here, you pull down to high, you're trading into this 382. So, I mean, don't be surprised if NatGas wants to shake people out and retest this previous $2.09 level before it breaks out. That could certainly be a scenario. But again, going back to the longer term target, I still remain more bullish on that gas in the long term, albeit I think there's a small pullback in the near term. When that weekly chart, when you zoom out on that weekly chart, even if you throw in a secondary confluence factor to this 350 level, that's where I think that gas at least heads to by the end of the year. If you throw in a fib retrace from this high pivot down to your low, 
just look where that three eight that first Fibonacci retrace just so happens to be right at that two three six three fifty seven zone, kind of right along with our near term twenty twenty four target. So again, twenty twenty four target around the three fifty dollar range. Don't know if it's uh, in the third quarter, at the end of the fourth quarter. The timing model is a bit harder to trick and place, but definitely by the end of I think twenty twenty four we'll have higher nat gas price action from here. Again, short term, I still think that it needs a little bit of consolidation and potentially some lower price action. On that note, thank you all for um, watching this video. If you found it useful and helpful and you're interested to see how I'm trading that gas, definitely check out tradingcapital.ca for my membership. Take care, everybody. We'll see you on the charts a bit later.